Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am here with my mom, Susan, greatest mom ever. That's and me. And we are going to be doing sort of a Q&A. I posted um, a question slot on my Instagram for questions and I also added some that people have asked me in life about how she reacted when she found out two different things. One, that I was dating a boy from another, that lives in another country and that I was moving abroad. Two very different reactions. So yeah, well, that is what today's video is about. <coughs> so let's get started. Gracie asked, how are you doing? She me? said, how is she doing? <clears throat> How are you doing? Oh, wait, so th this is you asking the question? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, can we do this one more time? I know, I'm just gonna really cut. Okay. Gracie asked, how is she doing? Uh, much better than I was a year, two years ago. Much better. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm great. Mom, we've been together for three years. Let's talk about when you found out that I was dating a boy that lives in another country. First of all, did you have any inkling before I told you? Well, yeah. That I was dating a boy from another country. Yeah. You had an inkling already. <clears throat> yeah. How? Because you would run up to your room and be like, oh, it's Juan Carlos. And then you would like start like, like, I ooh, think you're ooh, remembering ooh, ooh. this incorrectly <laughs> because I told you like a day after I got home. So we started dating in April and I like went home from April college. What year? Let's let's put 2017. This okay. I moved home from college for the summer in May. <clears throat> right? Like normal mid-May. Mm -hmm. And I told you like the second day I was there. But this was my first boyfriend, first and only boyfriend. So no one was really like no one really put Katie and boyfriend together. I was always the boyfriendless sister. So, do you remember like when I told you? No. Do you remember the moment? <laughs> no, she doesn't. Okay. <laughs> we were sitting on the couch at our old house <laughs> and um, I like, I was really nervous because I was like, not to tell you I had a boyfriend, like I knew you'd be like, oh, finally, you know, in your head, you weren't going <laughs> to say that, but you were, you were I was, uh, but I like to tell her that it was like a boy in another country. I was I knew she wouldn't say anything, but I knew she would think it. And so I was like, so I told her that I was like, Mom, like so I have a boyfriend. She was like, Oh, good. And then I was like, But there's this other thing. <laughs> he lives in another country. And she was like in the Dominican Republic because she knew I had been there on there a trip. Were only, there was only so many countries that I and could check like, off. And I was like, I was like, yeah. And she was like, I'm not surprised. Do you remember saying that? Mm -hmm. And I was like, this is why I want to take this video because she said she wasn't surprised. I wasn't. Why were you not surprised? Why were you not surprised that I was dating someone from the Dominican Republic? Like that would come as a surprise to most mothers. Okay. Why was I not surprised? Because I knew that most, you were like, most of the, dare I say, boys that you met in the United States, you're like, oh my God, they're so, mm, they're just, mm. and so she didn't have any, there were, weren't any guys that she'd ever met that she was like, oh, like, he's cool, or I think, no. like, it was, mm, it was none of that. So and you so, thought the whole country was off the <laughs> No, but. So, no, I wasn't surprised that you were, that you That were I able, found a boy in another country. Well, no, 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 no. That you were able to connect with somebody from a different culture and a different country because you did not, like, the, the guys here your age or in your, mm, you couldn't connect with. Like, well, I mean, just, the guys I grew up with were, like, gross. And then, but then I went to NYU in New York City and all the guys there were gay. So there were no shit. But, and I was like, I think this is great. This is, I had no, I had no issues with the fact that she had a long distance relationship with a guy in the Dominican Republic. Okay. 
So, next question. What was your gut reaction when I told you that I was dating someone from another country? Like, how did you feel? What were your feelings? I was like, well, okay. So you're gonna have this long distance relationship. Like, hope that works. Like, I just didn't know what to think. Like, I, I were didn't, I wasn't, no, I wasn't worried. I wasn't invested in, in I really wasn't invested in it. I figure, okay, this is, you are in this relationship, you're dating this guy, I don't know what this is gonna look like, I know, but no, I wasn't worried. What about when I told you I wanted to go visit him for three weeks that su in the end of that summer? Yeah, that was different. Yeah, so what was that like? <laughs> because, you know, it couldn't be long distance, like I couldn't never go see him. I was like, okay, I can't tell you no. I think it wasn't, it wasn't, it did, it had nothing to do with Juan Carlos. I think I was just worried about you being um, in a third world country without um, a support system. Like, you know, you had always gone there with Service for Peace, so there were people around you. and. And so now it was just you going and trusting Juan so Carlos. So it was like the country thing, not like the, not the boy thing. No, no. Okay. no. To be honest, I figured this will pass. <laughs> yeah. I, I no one thought it would I last. did. I thought, okay, she's going to Even the this. one couple we knew in the DR didn't think it would last. So no one was rooting for us. To be fair, it was also my first boyfriend, so most people also thought it would pass for that fact. Maybe one day we'll get my dad's side of the story on this, but he's a little camera shy, so. AKA, he doesn't go on the internet. That's why we just have mom here. <laughs> Should I come in and wave? Oh, he's, oh, there he goes. Oh. <laughs> okay, last question about finding out that I was dating. Were you happy or sad or neutral about the dating? Hmm. It's complicated. I was happy that you were dating and you seemed very happy and like, you know, I wanted you to have, you know, to be in a relationship that was fulfilling and happy for you. However, I was not happy that it was, not that it was long distance, but that it was so long distance, like I couldn't wrap my brain around what Juan Carlos's life was like. Like I couldn't be like, oh. You still you know, probably can't. No, it wasn't until the video where he grew up that I was like, oh, wow. When I was like, okay, that's, mm, now I get it. Um, that was, I, I cried when I saw it. And the cry, happy tears. Anyway. Um, so this is like kind of part two. Oh, well, I get to finally tell, tell the, okay. <clears throat> so I was, this isn't about me, but I got to give some context. <clears throat> so I was taking this life coaching program and <clears throat> I had to like coach somebody through, I didn't remember what the, what the series of questions were, but. <clears throat> She told me, she was like, oh, like, it's easy. It's just like this imagination activity. I was like, okay, sure. I'll do this was in the summer. And I, the first question was, pick a place that you want to live in the future. And I was like, and I was like, well, I don't really have a place. You know, I'll like, move, I haven't really decided I'll move in here. Cause that was my whole thing before this. I really hadn't, like, I didn't know where I wanted to end up. I knew I hated New York and that was it. And she was like, well, for this activity, Katie, you have to pick a place. <laughs> and I was like, ah. So then she was like, she said, no, it's like, I just, I, I'm in the Dominican Republic and I love it there. So then it sort of dissolved from my <clears throat> coaching practice session. No, we did into, the whole thing. I know, but you were like, but you said at the end, you're like, I was kind of afraid to like tell you what I was imagining because you know, I really think I want to go there. I and did. I really, and, but I'm so, I was so afraid to tell you. And I was like, well, that's okay. That's all right. And so I was like, all right. And I think it was maybe a couple days, maybe a week. And then we're in the car. This is the part. I don't remember this. We are in the car. We are driving to the airport. Just me and her to go back to school. I have no recollection of this. 
Oh, I do. And she says to me, she's like, so, you know when we were talking about me imagining myself living in the DR and all that? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And she's like, well, because that's, that's what's going to happen. Like, I'm, we're going to get, we're, we're going to get married and I'm going to live there. I was just like, okay okay and we're talking and I'm swallowing because you know like the, when you get that mm in your throat and you want to cry and you're not sure and you're like but you want to support your kid and you're like okay mm, yes I'm sort of not surprised I'm like you know if this is what you want like I want to support you I I'm behind you I wasn't gonna second guess her intuition when you ever have those moments where it's like all of a sudden everything sort of stops and it's like that only happens every, in movies. You, yeah, but that's what it was like. Everything was in slow motion. It was like, I'm going to move to the Dominican Republic. And I'm like, fast forward my mom brain. This was is, only, hold on, this was only like, we'd only been dating for like four months at this point. Yes. And she only knew for three. Yes. And so all, so me as mom, here's the part, future grandma mom, I'm like, oh. I'm like, I'm never, literally, she says I'm going to move the Dominican Republic and we're probably getting married, right? We're going to, and all of that was like, I hear you will never see your grandchildren. <laughs> that don't exist to this day. <laughs> so I drop her off at the airport. This is she making gets, me nervous all over again. Gets, like, and I'm happily married for a kind of... She gets out of the car. You know, we do the hug. We do the, you know, and we kind of get teary-eyed because I don't know when I'm going to see her again. And, and Thanksgiving. I, I know, but... I guess Thanksgiving so, was when I told Dad then. Yes. Yeah, okay. Because I kept my mouth shut. You for oh, so, I made you keep your mouth shut from August to November. I'm so sorry. That's a terrible thing to ask a married person to do. I didn't say anything. So then I have to get in the car and drive back. Drop her off. I turn around. I'm in the car. So I sobbed like a I sobbed all the way home. I was in mourning for a solid week. Alone, because you couldn't tell. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That's the worst thing I've ever done. Yeah. Wait, were you really not worried at all about the time, how quick it was? Most moms would have been like, you're going to do what? If you've been dating for four months. Oh, trust me. All, all of my friends were like, and you know one of them, she's like, you need to get on a plane and you need to go to the DR. Before January thirty first, I will put it in there. But it's like you need to go intercept this engagement. <laughs> what? I didn't know. And that. I'm like, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. Wait, I didn't. I was really scared to tell my dad. Anyway, I mean, I was scared to tell both of them. But mom squeezed it out of me a lot earlier, so she already knew. <laughs> Let's have a coaching session. Oh, so wait, what? What? The DR? Were you going to, what? When did you personally like move into happiness, like being happy for us? After we met him. Yeah, they also hadn't met him at this point because, <laughs> well, it, wait, not, uh, he, you would have, logistically it was impossible. Right. So, yeah, we got engaged before they met him. That was, that was, that was and what's it like now? Oh, it's great. Well. I would love for you guys to be closer. I would love for, for uh, the whole visa thing to have been different so that he could travel here. That's in, coming in another video. Yeah, so yeah. that would, but I, I mean, you guys are happy, you. <laughs> he and my dad are best friends. <laughs> it, and like, you, you just seem like you've got a really good relationship, so. Thank you for doing this video. The people had a lot of questions. This was fun. Maybe one day we'll get my dad in here. 
If you ask me enough times, I think he'll. If you all subscribe and get me really big, then maybe. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. If you have any other questions for mom, you can drop them in the comments. Um, if there's enough, we'll do a part two, Q and more of a Q&A and less of a story time. But if not, if they're just like a few, we'll just answer them. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And yeah. Bye, guys.